From an immersive theater experience about multidimensional warfare to a new submarine exhibit, 2023's Navy at Vivo 23 showcases the role of the Republic of Singapore Navy RSN and the importance of the sea to Singapore. The community outreach event, which will be held from November 17 to 19 at Vivo City, returns following a four-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Touching on the theme for the event. Our sea, our mission, our home, the RSN's Chief of Navy, Rear Admiral Sean Watt, said a lot of Singapore's survival and prosperity is dependent on the sea. The theme reminds us that all of this is because we are here to defend our home. The Navy takes this responsibility seriously. He added, our maritime security environment continues to evolve. We are constantly thinking about how we can stay ahead and be ready for tomorrow's challenges. Navy at Vivo 23 is free, though some parts of the event are ticketed. Balloting for these tickets has ended. The event will be open to the public from 9am to 9pm. Experience working and living under the sea at the submarine exhibit, which is part of the shore exhibition at the Central Court on Level 1 in Vivo City. Peer through the lens of a periscope to get a sense of what a submariner would see when deciphering the world above the water's surface. Or listen and guess the different sounds that can be heard underwater and picked up by the submarine's sound navigation and ranging systems. There are also information panels on Singapore's submarine story and how its submarines have developed and changed over the years. Have a go at guiding a naval helicopter to a safe landing on board a frigate or steer a rigid hull inflatable boat on the high seas, all through virtual simulators at the shore exhibition. These simulators are similar to what the Navy uses for training. To land a naval helicopter, visitors will assume the role of an RSN flight deck marshal and use hand signals to direct the virtual pilot. When it comes to riding the waves, visitors will get to put on a virtual reality headset while controlling a real steering wheel. The last interactive exhibition is a feed check. Visitors can see how they look in different RSN uniforms. Get your heart pumping with this show that takes place in a frigate command center. The premise, the audience, joins an RSN ship as its crew takes on different types of surface air and subsurface threats. The show not only highlights the hardware of the Navy, but also showcases the teamwork that goes into defending Singapore. Expect lights, action and even some environmental elements, such as wind and water that have been worked into the show. Those who get to ride the fast craft utility will be treated not only to a thrilling ride and a panoramic view of Singapore's southern skyline, but also a journey through the country's maritime heritage. As the vessel goes past key maritime landmarks such as Tanjung Balaya, Pulau Bukum, and the Keppel and Brony container terminals, those on board can listen to the narrative audio for informational tidbits. Curious about the training naval divers undergo? The boat physical training demonstrations at the Vivo City Amphitheatre will give visitors a behind-the-scenes look at how new recruits train at the Naval Diving Unit NDU. Besides showing videos of training sessions, divers will demonstrate their strength and resilience on stage by performing a boat physical training routine. For groups of eight divers, each carry 80 kg boats over their heads, as well as do exercises such as push-ups and pull-ups. This live performance by the NDU will take place three times a day at 11 a.m., 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Shows at the amphitheatre are ticketed. Third Warren Officer Yoga Prakash, an instructor trainer at the NDU, said that the scope of what the unit does may not be known to many. So coming down to Navy at Vivo, you can get a glimpse into the lives of naval divers. Especially here, at the amphitheatre, you get to see the journey of a trainee, we call them tadpoles, all the way to becoming a frogman.
across the three days of Navy at Vivo 23. About 30,000 people have snagged balloted tickets to board the Endurance Class Landing Ship Tank, the RSS Endeavour. They will see how the crew leave and work on board the Navy's largest ship and learn what it takes to operate the 141M long vessel, which is berthed alongside the Vivo City Promenade. It also has an S-70B Seahawk naval helicopter on display on its flight deck. Even without a ticket, the RSS Endeavour is still a must-see. Especially in the evening, when the ceremonial sunset takes place at 6.30 p.m. each day. Head to the top floor of Vivo City to catch the action on board. A military band and RSN personnel will march in uniform. When the sun sets, the state flag, the preparation pennant, the portside and the harbour ensign at the stern will be lowered to mark the end of the day.